Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Prophetic Solutions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning WordPress custom post app tutorial for beginners and this is our part 6. In this video session guys, we will see that how can we implement sorting functionality to our columns. And also guys, if you are a beginner to this channel then please don't forget to subscribe and keep watching our previous video sessions of WordPress custom post app tutorial to get the clear concept about part number 6. If guys this is your first video session I strongly suggest you to go to YouTube. Now inside this playlist called WordPress custom post app tutorial you can find all the previous video sessions ok and for the code section just go to the github repository called OWT hub slash WP OWT custom post type. This is the page that we have made so far ok and now if you go to administrator panel this is the movie section actually currently we are working on several things we did inside this plugin. This is the custom post app that we have registered by the help of this plugin and this plugin I have opened in that editor. So now what we are going to do inside this video session basically if I go to admin now we want that as you can see that movie title is now showing a sorting button. This means if I click on that it will automatically get sorted as you can see. If I clicking on date it get automatically sorted ok so we want that how can we implement that sorting conditions that sorting functions to our custom column also basically these are the custom columns that we have made by the help of WordPress custom meta box ok so basically guys to implement the functionality of sorting to our custom columns or any of the column of our custom post type so we need to use this filter hook that is manage edit post type sortable column ok after adding these filter hooks guys we can actually make the functionality of sorting to these columns if I just remove this URL refresh that page now if I click on movie title as you can see on the URL section just I'm clicking on that first time if I click that it is order by title and order that is ascending order means we have clicked the title section and the order is something called ascending order if I again click on that now order by is title and the order is something called descending. So by clicking on this icon we can actually make the ascending order or descending order. So we want this functionality to our custom columns also. Ok. So just back to editor. And now let's define a filter hook. Ok. So let's say that. Add filter. And now inside this filter hook just we need to copy this filter hook ok I am going to copy and now paste inside the first parameter of this function and basically we need to pass here the custom post type name so basically if you have remembered then for the movie we have registered by the name of movie ok so if I copy that and paste within here ok so successfully we have removed the placeholder of post type ok so this is the complete filter hook that is man manage edit movie sortable columns and now inside this parameter second parameter we need to pass the callback function so let's say that o w p l o w t c p t sortable columns ok so just I'm going to copy this function name and now we have to define this function ok so function this is the function inside this function guys we need to pass a parameter called columns ok and finally after implementing our conditions our functions we need to return this variable that is columns ok so now everything is set now so just we need to pass some of the column names actually we want to make the sortable for example we know that we have made movie title, publisher email, publisher name and the date section these are the columns that we have actually implemented to our data table as you can see so what column actually we want to make sortable we want that publisher email and the publisher name should be sortable ok so just I'm going to copy this key called pub email just scroll down and let's say that columns now it is an array just we need to pass inside the key the column name that is column ID that is pub email ok and now we have to assign the value called pub email again ok so this is the value that we have stored inside this key and finally we have to remove or return this column section at the end ok so also next we want what we want to do we want to also to make the pub name also ok so let's say column 
and the ID of that column is something called pub name this is the pub name that we have assigned publisher name okay this is the key so just make copy of that and paste inside this square bracket okay and now finally we need to bind this value so successfully guys we have actually passed these two values we want to be sortable inside this key okay and now these key are the column names okay so if I save this file go to browser just reload this page once we reload as we can see that the color is now converted into blue color and now it has also sort icons as we can see so if I just copy this URL go to slides open a new tab and this is the current title actually we are currently running that is post type movie order by title okay currently we have sorted our data by the help of title section okay so we want that we are going to filter this result by the help of this publisher name and the publisher email okay so if I just am clicking on that after clicking if I copy this URL again go to editor and let's say that this is the URL after implementing the sorting condition to our pub email okay so this is the URL that we got order by this is pub email actually we have passed inside this key okay this is the pub email which actually has we got and order ascending order okay again I'm clicking on that and now the order has been changed to descending order okay so it's working fine again I'm going to publish a name so just I'm going to click on that and now as we can see that result has been filtered also okay and now order by that is pub name okay so basically guys after clicking on that we can make our sortable columns either ascending or descending order if suppose we want to change the name here called order by because basically this is the key that we have to pass as the mandatory condition because these are the square brackets keys are the column IDs okay here we can change that something let's say that OWT email okay and let's say that OWT name okay so if I save that go to browser reload this page and now if I click on email section as we can see that the post type movie and order by that is OWT email okay so basically this is OWT email so anything key we can pass inside this values okay but remember these are the important keys that we have to pass because these are the column IDs so successfully guys by the help of this video session we understood that how can we make our sortable columns for our custom post type okay so just remember these things that first we need to add our filter hook that is manage edit this is post type and the movie sortable columns okay and next this is the callback function that we have to define to make our sortable functions okay inside this function first parameter you need to pass uh, columns okay and finally you need to return that column and inside this columns array basically it is an array because we have to pass some of the keys inside this column okay so these are the keys that we actually we have assigned with the column name okay corresponding column name so these are the keys and now this is the another string values which basically appears at the URL section so successfully guys we had completed our main concern of this video session so if you have any doubt in this video session guys then please drop your comment I will give my reply as soon as possible so for this video session guys thank you for watching have a great day